everybody. Hello. Louder. To the party. <laughs> I wish I had 400,000 subscribers on YouTube. I think I've got about four. <laughs> so thank you for coming along today and supporting uh, Maya, who, who I've met a couple of years ago. He's been to one of my events speaking to the people of Greater Manchester. Um, as you know, I'm standing for Mayor of Greater Manchester. I'm an independent yeah. candidate. I'm up against the Labour Mayor Andy Burnham, who's going to take some. Take some beating. I know we don't like him and his policies, but he's going to take some beating if we're, if we're going to knock him off his perch. The Tories aren't going to do it, they're going down in the votes. There's no real other independent standing at the moment. It's either going to be me or it's going to be Andy Burnham. That's the choice we've got in Greater Manchester. So, what I need, I've not got any millionaire backers, the mainstream media is paying no attention to me. What I need is the people of Greater Manchester to say, I like that guy. I like what he has to say. I like the fact he wants to fix the police. Because there's more chance of you being murdered on the way home tonight than there was seven years ago before we got the mayor. Before we got in the room. How can we say that? Just look around the streets, look at what the councils are doing, look at the, the rainbow crossings we're spending money on. Look at the fact that none of our services work anymore across the country. But in Greater Manchester, nothing works. The NHS doesn't work, the councils don't work, the police don't work anymore. And we need to say why, how are we going to fix it? I've got a plan to fix this, it's quite easy. Because I'm not a career politician. And because I don't want to be voted in again, I'm going to go all for leather here. I'm going to embarrass the top civil servants who are ruining our lives. Yay! I'm going to name them for them. It's quite easy to say it's the council's fault, it's the NHS manager's fault, nothing works. And that's true. What I'm going to do is I'm going to name the person who runs the department. I'm going to stand in front of the press, I'm going to say, Joe Bloggs is the person who just spent half a million pounds on a new computer system. That doesn't work. Pete Smith's the person who spent 50 grand on rainbow badges of your money. We need to start giving these people some skin in the game to make sure they work harder and better and provide better services for all of us. And then you look at the most important service we have in Greater Manchester. It's Greater Manchester Police. Unless we have a professional, competent police force, nothing else works. And it's not competent anymore. There were in special measures three, four years ago. Special measures like failing schools go into. The government had to take over the running of the police. Why? Because the police crime commissioner failed. And you're thinking to yourself, who is the police crime commissioner of Greater Manchester? It's the mayor. It's Andy Burnham. He allowed the police to fail. It was only last week a serving police officer was sentenced for being in uniform and sexually abusing a six-year-old girl in Greater Manchester. Mm. We have a girl at the moment, a young lady at the moment, um, Zainab Inman, who's accusing a Salford police officer of raping her in a police station cell. This is the level of our police at the moment. That's only a small percentage of police officers. I've trained police officers in the past. Most police officers are fantastic. I have so many police officers contact me going, Nick, I hope you're elected because you're going to sort this out. I just want to wake up in the morning smiling, knowing I'm going to hammer criminals today. That's all I want to do in my job is hammer criminals. I'm sick of looking at people and basing what they're going to do on their sexuality, on their colour, on their religion. I just want to hammer criminals. So I want to empower those police officers to do the best job they can do. And we need to support them. I don't want to be like the London mayor who's just thrown all these armed police officers under the bus. How are police officers going to protect us when we can't protect them from the far left lunatics in the press who are always looking for someone else's scalp? If we don't protect them, they won't protect us. That's the sort of police I want. I want a police force. I don't want a police service anymore now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> If you're expecting a police force from me, you're going to be mistaken. I want a police force. I want criminals afraid to step out of their homes on the street. I want criminals afraid of committing crime. I'm going to hold the judges accountable. I can't interfere with the judge process, but I can hold them accountable and say to them, this isn't good enough. 
19 burglaries, two rapes and assault, and you're still not sending him to jail. What are you, what are you doing? I'm going to be the mayor that every career politician hates because I'm going to embarrass them all. Yes. I'm going to show them what needs to be done. And if I never get elected again, but I've improved this region and I've improved that country a little bit more than it is today, I'll take that to my grave as a success. Yeah. I'm not Churchill, I'm not Thatcher, I'm not a superhero. I'm just an average guy who was brought up on a council estate in Manchester. I just want to improve the region I love, the country I love. And maybe if I can do the foundational work in Greater Manchester, maybe the people who come after me, who are better than me, better educated than me, can do a better <coughs> job because I did the hard work, I did the heavy lifting to make their lives easier, to improve our lives. I don't care who takes the credit. I'm not in this for credit. I just want things to improve. And if politicians who come after me take all the credit of the work I do, fantastic. It means what I did was successful. So make sure it's seven weeks tomorrow. Seven weeks tomorrow in Greater Manchester. You've got a chance to make change here in Greater Manchester. And that change is vote for Nick Buckley for mayor. Make sure you turn up. Make sure you speak to your neighbours, you speak to your friends and tell them, I like this guy. Go on his website, nickbuckleyformayor.co.uk. Look at the manifesto, look what I have to say. Some people won't like what I've got to say, but that's fine, because at least I've given them a choice. They've looked what I've said and said I don't like it, well don't vote for me. But if you like what I've got to say, I will deliver everything I'm saying I'm going to deliver. Because everything I say is not, it's, I'm not relying on anybody else. I don't rely on the councils, I don't rely on the NHS, I don't rely on the MPs to deliver what I say I'm going to deliver. Because they're not going to help me. They're going to hate me. So therefore, I will achieve what I achieve on my own with public pressure. So tell your family, tell your friends, tell your neighbours, they need to vote Nick Buckley for May if they want change. If you like that video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and comment. And if you like what I'm saying about running for Mayor of Greater Manchester, then stick around, tell your family, tell your friends. It's the only way I'm going to have a chance of winning is a grassroots movement. So be part of that movement and hit that bell. Thanks.